UG Basic Game Programming Number 1 Atari 8-Bit Getting Started Coming up next. What is UG Basic? UG Basic is an isomorphic and open source language fully documented and designed to develop portable programs without sacrificing efficiency. With a single source, it's possible to create games for numerous 8-bit platforms. So let's take a look at ugbasic.iwashere.eu. This is the homepage for UG Basic. Right now, it supports a lot of CPUs. It supports ones from Amstrad, Atari, ColecoVision, the ones from Commodore, Dragon, MSX, Ovaletti, Radio Shack, Thompson, Sega, and the ZX Spectrum. Not all functions, though, are supported in all CPUs. UG Basic includes compilers for all platforms that will create ready-to-use executables. In addition to installing UG Basic, we'll have to install a suitable emulator like Altera for the Atari 8-bit to actually run the executable files that we create. There are three ways to get started with UG Basic. The first is to simply start playing in the online sandbox. This is at sandbox.ugbasic.iwashere.eu. From here, you can open example files from the site and also code programs right in the online IDE and build your desired platform. This is really just a quickie sandbox for testing and playing with code, as there's no way to save your creations. The second way is to install the UG Basic executable on your computer. This is found at ugbasic.iwashere.eu slash install. There are executables for Windows and Linux. The third way, and the recommended way, is to use the IDE, which is on itch.io at https.spotlessmind1975.itch.io slash ugbasic-ide. You can pay as little as $4 for the IDE and you'll get all of the updates. I'll be showing the examples using the IDE, but you don't have to purchase it to get something out of ugbasic. The IDE I downloaded was UG Basic IDE 1.16.4 64-bit for Windows .NET 6 needed. After you download the file and click on it, it will show the install wizard. Follow the prompts and install all of the systems you want to build for. At least install Atari 8-bit for now. I have already completed this task, but you can get back to it in the configuration wizard and add other systems. Let's have a brief look around. The file menu. The file menu lets you open and save source code and also set preferences for the IDE, the font, and whether or not you want it to update itself. The edit menu. The edit menu is inactive until you're working on source code. We'll explore this a little later. The build menu. It will be used when we want to test out our code. The configuration menu. The configuration menu includes the install wizard that allows you to pick the systems you want to target. We've already done this, but as you can see, you can add systems anytime you want to. Next up is emulator configuration. We're going to configure the Altera emulator for use in UG Basic. You're going to have to download the Altera emulator if you don't already have it. This is at https colon slash slash www.virtualdub.org slash altera.html. For the Atari 8-bit, you can use either Altera or Atari 800. I've installed both, but I'm going to use Altera. All you need to do is locate the Altera 64.exe or 32.exe and set its location. Okay, once you've set up that one emulator, we're ready to do a classic Hello World. So go to the file menu and click New. In that window, type Print Hello World. Well, let's show it on the screen right now. I'm going to load in the file I've already created. The only line in here is Print Hello World. Keywords like print need to be in uppercase. When you type it in uppercase, you'll see that the keywords turn to blue in the IDE. Now, go to the build menu and choose run and the platform you want to run it on. It will force you to save the file in a location if you haven't done so already, and then it will compile the EXE and run it on the emulator you have chosen. That's it for Hello World. 
That's not all we're going to do though today. We're going to next play with graphics a little bit. UG Basic is pretty advanced and allows for loading and displaying PNG files on these old systems. We'll explore these capabilities further in following episodes, but just to whet your appetite, I have created this ship graphic as a PNG. It's a 32 by 32 PNG, and we're going to attempt to display it on the Atari 8-bit. The code we'll use looks like this. I've already written it, and I'm going to load it in the IDE. Bitmap enable 2. I don't know exactly what all of this means yet. We're going to find out as we go further. Airplane equals load image, and that's the image I created. This is in the same folder I saved this file. Put image airplane at 00. zero. That's it. Okay, let's run it. There it is. There's the airplane. Now, what graphics mode is this? What colors have been chosen? I don't know. And we're going to be setting this up a lot later. I just wanted to get something quick in here that we could then try out on other platforms before we start getting into the specifics for the Atari and the other platforms. That being said, what platforms do you want me to cover? I'm going to be doing the Atari 8-bit for sure, and I think I'm going to definitely be doing the ColecoVision. Please let me know in the comments any other platforms you want me to cover. I'm going to try to cover them all at the same time, and then we're going to check out the differences between the platforms and create a little multi-platform game that will work across all of them. Okay, until next time, have fun playing with UG Basic and going to look at the documentation and building your own stuff and letting me know what you find in the vertical blank. We were children of the Silicon Revolution, an X generation conscripted to fight the console and home computer wars. A product of an analog 70s childhood, we came of digital age in the 80s, believing we could affect the world 8 bits at a time. Armed with joysticks, full stroke keyboards, jolt cola, and MTV haircuts, we proceeded into the vertical blank. There we stayed up late at night, devising incantations from D&D rulebooks and beginners all-purpose symbolic instruction code. Video games were the match, and programming was the fuse, as the infinite possibilities of the the digital world exploded into the internet age to come. We are Generation Atari. Into the vertical blank.